years work hard. Oh, you do. It's very nice. Well, I have a book here about Santa, and I was going to read it to all of you. What? You got that book at home. Yeah. This, this book, it's, it's a, the, the story is a visit from Santa Claus, is the original story. It's been redone several times. This the story is really very old, and this was written by a man whose whose little children wanted to know more about Santa Claus. So he wrote the story about a visit from Santa Claus at his house. It tells all about how Santa came. <laughs> it, got, it got copied a lot. Actually, it was, it was actually first published in a newspaper right around the year. They put it in the, in the Sunday paper. I think it was in Troy, if I remember right. Well, let me read it to you. This is all about it. There's a lot of pictures of Santa in here. I'll show you pictures if you want. Santa's on the cover. He's all over the place. <laughs> All right, let's see, that's all the introduction, it's like a movie, all the introductory stuff there. There we go. There's the house. Is it like, remember last night how snowy it was? That's the house. That's their house after it snowed. And it says, "Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even. Mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. You guys take up your stockings? Yeah. In hope that St. Nicholas soon would be there. That's Santa Claus. The children nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Mama and her kerchief, and I and my cat, had just settled down for a long winter's night. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, threw out the sand, opened the window. On the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. Really bright moon nine. After this page, there's a picture of reindeer. And then what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and a tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick. I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. And there's a picture here. There's a close up of Sand in the Rain. More rapid than eagles, his course as they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner, and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash your way, dash your way, dash your way off. Are you a reindeer? Well, you're an elf. Yeah. I elf 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 I elf 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 Dry lies before a wild hurricane fly. You know how leaves fly when the wind blows? When met with an obstacle bump to the sky, so up to the housetop, the courses they flew with a sleigh full of toys. And then with a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each high roof. As I drew my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished, his asses and soot, but he just came down the chimney. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler. Just opening his pack. See, there's a picture of Santa after he came down the chimney. There's a picture.
there. There's Santa Claus. Is that a real Santa Claus? It's a drawing. Did you ever see Santa Claus? Not too many people have. This Christmas, that's Christmas Eve, I'm going to be here to sleep and I'm going back. I bet you you'll still fall asleep, though. Nope. Yeah? Okay. His eyes, how they twinkle. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard on his chin was as light as the snow. Somebody told me he had a white beard. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke that encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly. Somebody told me he had a belly too. I did. You did. And it shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> make your belly big a lot. <laughs> he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. There's another oh. picture of him there standing by the chimney. I look at him. He took off his shoes. He took off his hat. The shoes, he's trying to warm his feet up. It's probably cold up. A wink of an eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work, held all the snack, then turned with a jerk, and lying a finger beside of his nose and nodding his head, up the chimney he rode. Just gone like he sprang to his sleigh, gave, to his team, gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. <clears throat> but I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. That's the story about Santa Claus came to visit this man's house. <laughs> now we want Santa Claus to come visit us here today, don't we? Yeah. Well, when I was a little boy, I used to come to parties at this firehouse, and we always had Santa Claus come by singing a special song. And I bet you all you guys know it. And the song is Jingle Bell. <laughs> you guys know? Oh, let's get started. Everybody together. Ready? One, two, three. Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, Jingle all the way.
George. We got a few Georges here. Somebody stole it. 